Okay, so with our concept sorted, uh, we're going to jump into Blender now and start building our base model. So in this step here, what we're going to do is we're going to block out our panels and our basic forms. Now when I say panels, I do not mean all of the little armor and bits and pieces that we're going to stick on. That will come in a later step. What I do mean is basically constructing a rough ute. Uh, so constructing something that is nice and easy to, to do. First thing is to put in your reference images. So I already have them set up here. Now you notice I've used the I've used the base the base one, not the one that we drew up. This is simply for the fact that uh, it, it is a little easier to trace to this one and we'll edit it later to match our rough concept. Now if you had a proper concept drawn, like if you are a concept artist or if you have hired a concept artist, for me as I mentioned in the last video, my concept artist is away, uh, you would be, have a full nice orthographics to work with. But we're just going to use these ones here and these will suit us just fine. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to assume that you already know how to set up your reference images. If you don't, there's many tutorials online of how to do that. Just adjust my microphone. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is press Shift C to center our cursor. Shift A, add in a plane, have them to edit mode, Alt M at center and press control spacebar to turn off our manipulator. So what we have now is a single vertex that we can move around. Alright, so what we do with this is we just click and roughly draw out the topology that we want. And we can extrude that, scale it out. And just extrude this one across the Y, this Y is zero either. And we will just gradually build our model. Oh, one thing I have forgotten to do is I'm just going to save this. Press N, just come down and turn on my screencast keys. I'm also going to change the mouse icon to an icon rather than text. I often use the text one for my videos on my website, but as this is a more advanced one, you don't need to see that. Okay, so it's coming through. And building in the rough topology that we need. Just gonna split that so I've got an extra loop there. One thing to note when you are blocking out designs like this is play it like a game of Tetris. It's a good way of uh, describing it. We want to have everything good and nice, but it doesn't happen the first time around. Unless you've been doing this for like 10 years and you've been built building hundreds of vehicles, which 
my guess is that you haven't. Uh, it's you're not going to get it right. So there's no point spending hours tweaking a base mesh. You want to leave the tweaking for the later stages when you build in a nice uh, fully built model. And with that, with that, uh, with the base mesh that we're building now, we just want to have it nice and rough. Sort of making the decisions here of where I want my polygons to flow. If we just go up and take a look at the top view, we can kind of see where this flows along here. And we can kind of see it more flows straight towards the front. So kind of contradicts what I said before about uh, not changing things. But it's not a it's not a big change. Alright, and that is one panel done basically. So we can just extrude this all the way up there. Just go that in. And this is my process for creating panels. Seems a little strange, it's a little different to how other people do it. They tend to build it in 3D and do stuff like that. But when I, when I build vehicles, I like to just draw my topology on and then move it around to fit. Uh, as a personal preference kind of thing. Find the way that works for you and it will be all good. Alright. Adding a bit extra divisions in there. Extrude this one down. Like so. Duplicate this one across. This is a separate panel.
All right. Uh, let's add another one here. This one here, I'm just going to extrude all the way along the Y. Like so. And we'll worry about that bit later. Alright, so we come up into our four views now. See, so, you know, so over here I've got my modifiers panel, I have the right view, the top view, and the perspective view. This is just sort of the easiest way to get these all into place. So I'll move these across. We add in a mirror modifier with clicking enabled. And what we're going to do now is we are going to move things into place. So I'm going to grab this one, move it across. Grab the next one, move that over to about there. And this one, I just want these pieces along here. Move them over like so. And you see it's starting to form the body now. Still very flat though, so we'll work on that. Alright, so it's a matter of choosing a vertex on this side, moving it over on this side to fit, and just in general, moving it into place. The wrong one there. Alright, so this one sticks out a bit, and the next one here comes out a little as well. I just want to share this a little so. Is, oh, not that much. Just to get that slight tapering effect as it comes forward. Alright, so bend these ones in. All right, we're definitely getting some uh, formation coming here. Okay, so moving along. The door. The doors are nice and easy to do. So I'll show you a quick tip for them. Move them into a position of the inside of the bit, inside of the door. We'll grab the middle bit, um, middle edge loop there, and we are going to. Go to proportional editing, open this one, connected, make sure you're unconnected, and just go G, X, and we'll move it out to the edge of the door, and just sort of give it a nice bevel, like so. Alright, turn proportional editing off by double tapping O. Alright, so looking good, looking very good. Alright, so I'm just going to grab 
those ones extrude along the X and uh, form that piece in the middle. Alright, grab these. And we're just gonna fill on the back here. We'll worry about what we're gonna do with the back there later. Remember, this is just the blocking stage. So we don't need anything fancy. Okay, so duplicate this cross, extrude it on along with X. Forward, down, down. Just add another little edge loop there. Gives it that nice curve. And I'm just going to bring this one up. This one here up. It's going to have a nice curve on it. Yeah, save that there. And that's looking quite nice at the moment. That's a uh, fairly blocked out panels. Going to keep going from here. Uh, we need to block out the full panels in basic form. So we also need to block out the front, the... Uh, Got to make a base of the vehicle, so the underside and stuff. And we're going to have some area for the wheels and stuff. Uh, and... Yeah, it's not taking too long, is it? Okay, so moving over to the back side over here. Just kind of grab these, move them in a little. Just got a shift S cursor to selected. And I'm just going to go shift A, add in a circle. Just going to press F6, which will bring up our properties, or you can also find them in the tool menu, of course. A light of view. 32 is fine. This is simply a placeholder for my wheels. I just want to know how big these are going to be. It's kind of like through that along the X. So we'll block out the, the wheels properly in the, in the uh, in another video, but I'm just getting a sides here for the wheels Let's see how I'm going to fit in my wheels at the back as I mentioned in the last video we we want to have four wheels at the back and two at the front which will give us a massive amount of traction which means Going to be cutting it in quite deeply into this tray area. Let's give them up a little. Okay, so that is the area of our wheels. 
Did you find, like, before we had this little triangle thing here, that just means the normals are screwed up? So let's go into edit mode, cut, recalculate those. Alright, so moving on, we got to have this sort of... Um, I'm not quite sure whether we're going to be able to fit that way I had before with the bit cutting in over top. We might want to have one that actually flares out a little. Maybe flares out and comes out a little at the back. That wouldn't be hard to do. Alright, so I just rejoined those. Hide that one, just gonna go select this one. Oops. This one, this one. Like that. And we want it to be about this wide. Just turn off the occlusion there, occlusion culling. And that will allow us to see through this. that uh, six and just make sure I've got the right twist on it. Getting a bit of an interesting flare on the back there. And that just gets an idea of how these are going to be. That means we need to come through onto this side. Give enough room for the tires there. That. Just bring in another one. Shouldn't have deleted the uh, last one. And that just gives me a pivot point there. So I can grab these, I can go extrude, press uh, period, and we're going to go scale, shift X, and that will scale down there. Uh, 
That should be about right. Right. Just drew that along the X. And that gives us enough room for our drive stuff underneath. There's going to be some tubes and piping and what have you. Gonna add in a solder. Gonna cut this down to about eight. Go to X ninety. Just seeing what this looks like with a bit of thickness on it. Okay, so I am quite liking the way that that's going at the moment. We can select this one here, we can go extrude that one along its normals, just make it a little thicker. All right, and that's the rear block now. Okay, let's grab this one, extrude that in there, pull it out, take another piece, pull it out. And I might just join these for now, just like that. Split it apart later and just get this looking a bit, a bit nicer. So, yeah, just a bit more complete around the front there. All right. Out some more wheel placeholders. All right, and that's enough room for those ones. And you notice it looks a little funny at the moment with the uh, big wheels and stuff. Kind of looks like a tractor. But we will sort that out. What I want to do now is just fill in this bottom gap. Right, so. Fill 
that one, this one. And yeah, there we go. Blocked out, um, blocked out panels in basic form. So yeah, that's all we're going to do in this one here. After this, we're going to block out the mechanics. Then we'll block out all the weapons and armor, and um, get everything looking sweet. And then after after we've got all of that looking cool, we'll go ahead and we will block out the interior. Now, one thing that I will notes that I've noted a few times in this tutorial so far but I really want to make a point is this is a blocking phase when we are blocking and concepting and all of that we do not want to sit and make it look absolutely amazing that there comes in the detailing phase right now we just want to add in cylinders, have things intersect um, have a relatively good topology but chances are most of it's going to be replaced in the end anyways for example, these headlights are just holes at the moment, but it signifies there is a headlight that is going to go there. So yeah, that is the panels and the basic form. And this is kind of like the general size of, I want it to look like this. Okay, so I will see you soon in the next video. Alright, so what we're going to do now is build some mechanics. Now there's a few bits and pieces that have changed since last time. Um, basically what I've done is I have integrated these loops a little better, made a little groove up the side there, and nothing major, nothing complex. I did bring these wheels down a fraction, they were up here, and then I was looking and thinking something looks wrong. What looks wrong is there is no room for suspension. These things need to go like this. Yeah, when they go over bumps and, and stuff, probably come down this far and go up that far. So we need to account for that. And I might just move these out a little as well. Okay, so in this step, what we're going to do is we are going to construct our chassis and our, uh, our base engine, I suppose, uh, some suspension, some shocks, some um, the drivetrain, just various bits and pieces to make everything work effectively. Okay, so let's start with the chassis. A lot of vehicles that I've seen in 3D don't have a chassis. They, um, I mean, it's fair enough for a lot of vehicles to have panels covering the chassis and then you can't see them and all that. But it's nice just to have a chassis, especially on a um, broken vehicle like this. Just to have something that looks very handmade, looks very um, thrown together and yeah, just something like that. I'm going to add in a cube, scale it down, and just going to control up and just going to split these windows back across. And add in a mirror modifier, give it some clipping, scale this down to about what we should have as a Chassis. I've also brought in the correct image now. Uh, now that our base pieces were constructed, we can bring this one in and 
not actually lined up, but that's all right. Why don't you go and line this up? Done. That was easy. All right. Um, I just sort of brought it in to prepare us for the next stage. It's not hard to do. You just swap it out. All right. So turn off those background images. So bring this one up. Scale this one Y. Across perhaps over here. Let some of those. What I'm doing now is just making a gap effectively. Nothing important. Alright, just gonna delete those. Bring this one across. Alright, now that probably seems a really weird thing to do, but this allows us just to sort of hide this piece. Well, hide it as much as it would be hidden. So, something like that. And just looking at some references over the other side. Just making sure that I have things working as they should. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in a cube. Come here, just going to Get rid of this. So we can hide the bot. And get this approximately the right size of our engine. So, something like that. That is our engine. So you want, you can bring that in. And make it look more engine-like, but not really important at this stage. Okay, so we're going to start adding in some drivetrains and suspension and stuff now. So I'm going to select these and we need to make these wheels right first. Okay, so to do this, what I'm going to do is an edge loop here. Select those, delete them, shift S, cursor to selected, control lock shift S, or if you're in the 3D cursor, and we now have a married wheel. So I can scale this one out. So, Make these look a little more wheel like, I suppose. Separate that one. Right, 
Figure out what we want to do with this. Oops, there goes my phone. Alright, and we'll have something like that, and that is a wheel. So we'll just apply that mirror modifier on this one, same with this one. Right. Okay, this one, extrude that, scale it in, pull it in like so. That is where our joins will and stuff will go to. Alright, so we're going to go Shift C, add in a empty. Just going to name this one. It's kind of important to name things, but I haven't been doing it so far. Alright, so I'm just going to go name this center. Select this, add modifier mirror. Uh, this is going to be the object, is going to be center. And that allows us to have that as the center. Control L, link, modifiers. Duplicate this one along. Now, I probably want to delete this other one. And just going to move this out and get it a bit bigger. Let's duplicate this one out as well. I'm going to just move that one. And yeah, we get this nice big set at the back. Now if you look at this at the front, it looks horrible. That is because we are in orthograph view. Switch perspective and better. So yeah, we do have these really massive wheels at the back. If this isn't what you like, you are welcome to hide that and just have the one. But I'm quite liking it with the nice wide things. Probably even just see how this looks at the front. Now that is intense. Might actually look at doing that a bit later. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually quite liking it with the uh, double wheels at the front as well. Maybe we'll go that the beauty of uh, designing as you go. All right. Just going to delete that one. Delete that. And. These in. Alright, so with our wheels blocked out, we need to continue doing some more work. Uh, we've got the engine there, we need to have some drive systems. Because to select it, let's add in a, oh, actually, let's just go zero out the X location here. Let's go add in a mesh, add in a cylinder. Go to edit mode, we're going to rotate this around the Y 90 degrees, scale it in, scale it on the X, scale shift X, to get this a bit thinner. And that is pretty much fine like that for this piece. Uh, what we have next is we have a sort of it's like an unusual thing, it's like a sphere. So I'm going to add in a sphere. 
go f6, we're going to cut this in half, we're going to go 16 and 8. Going to scale this one down. Rotate x, 90. Uh, this piece is, I'm not really sure how this one works in, internally, but to have the general idea of it there is important. I'm just going to scale this one down until it's about the right size. Perhaps we'll extrude this one out and scale it in. A little like that. And just looking at references on my other monitor. Very, very important, by the way. Uh, references are definitely key to surviving when you're building stuff like this. Uh, but it's really long, it kind of sticks out like this. Let's go about this far, it comes down to about here. This one here, let's go it in. Alright, and this one will point up to it's sort of like a little box that will set up here. And we'll have this this set repeated as well, so we're gonna go. Alt D, Y, RZ 180. Probably should have scaled, but it's alright. Get up to about there. Alright, now I'm not sure where I want to do this. I'm just going to try to look local. This out. Let's save that and sure that's not turned on. And it's crashed. Um, one moment. Okay. Very important to save when you're turning on that. Silly screencast keys. It always breaks, not sure why. Alright, so in here we have a box. Now I'm not really sure what this box looks like. I couldn't find a decent picture that was uh, very relevant. Some were like spheres, some were oval, like you know, curvy, similar things. Others were boxes. Um, yeah, it's, it's very unusual to have that many varieties of different things, but I suppose it's, it's what it is, so yeah, let's do something like this. Throw a box in here. It's kind of a different design than I originally intended, so... Okay, now, just... So I was thinking about making a car, I did a car style thing. Alright, so something like so, and bring that one down.
All right, so we've got stuff like this. I'm just going to go shift S, go to selected, add in a mesh, add in a cylinder, F6, take this down to 8. And something like this. Alright. Now it's an unusual thing for those who don't know anything about mechanics, um, myself included. I know, I know a little bit, but can't say it's my strong point. This little box is like a little converter thing, and we have the spinning drive bit come out of the engine, and it comes off to this one and to this one, and that allows for our suspension to move up and down while keeping it for drive. So, yeah, effectively, these four wheels are all going to be driven, and... Oh, there's no steering mechanism at the moment. Uh, we'll sort that out later. Okay, so, yeah, actually, that'll be cool. We should do, like, a four-wheel steering system on this. Anywho, um, what was I saying? Yeah, these bits here should be able to move up and down, and these bits will continue to drive the wheels while it goes. And these can twist left and right, and... You can get a whole a whole lot of movement here, just because it's got this extra piece. So it's not just straight like um, well, it's not as straight as a, a car, for example. Okay. So what we're going to be doing now is creating a little bit more of a structure. So we need to have some suspension here. And just Alright, so I think I can just block that out with a couple of cubes and cylinders. And to come down to this one, first it's selected, and the mesh and the cube. up to about there. Alright, and from this, we're going to add in a cylinder. And to make sure this one here is long enough to reach up here somewhere. Something like that. Shift D, S, Y, negative 1. Move that over. Actually, while we're on this, let's go Shift D, switch that over to normal. And I always 
forget about these caps. Okay, so for that they're done, we've got Shift D, and we will scale this out, make this thicker. I need to bring this one up to about here, bring that one to about there. Duplicate this one, move it down, extrude it. And for here, I'm just going to add in a whole bunch of edge loops. And I'm just going to switch this to global. Was my lazy man's way of creating a whole bunch of uh, loops. I'm well aware there's many better ways to do that, but no, nah, that works. All right, and that one just needs to be inside this. Alright, so something, something like that, S, Y, negative 1, okay, add modifier, mirror, mirror object is going to be center, Move that up to there. There needs to come out more to accommodate that. As does these, not those. And yeah, we get something like that appearing. Okay, so remember our chassis that we started building and never finished. Let's do that. Okay, duplicate this, rotate it 190. Dip it in. There, over there. Delete faces. Okay, let's get this one over here. Move that out.
I don't know, that, look, that looks roughly what a chassis would look like. So yeah, we now have some suspension, some drivetrains, a very rough chassis, um, no brakes or anything at the moment, you can go in and chuck those in if you want. Um, I'll probably do mine in the detail phase. But yeah, that's, that's fine, I'm mostly happy with that for some rough uh, mechanics that have created in about half an hour. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let's uh, get on to the next step, which is, let me figure out what I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna be, oh, we're gonna be doing the weapons and the armor. Now that is gonna be fun. More specifically, we're gonna be doing the armor and the weapons because they, they kind of mold in together. So get onto that one there now.